Hi there. <laughs> she was up in the attic. What are you doing? Hi, Eddie. Well, I'm here in the fire hole room. Oh, uh, with the big fire hole. Yeah, the fire hole is here. This is the, the kitchen used to be underneath here, and uh, the fire in this house was started at the stovetop, which was directly underneath this room. Yeah. Uh, so we, we fashioned a, a bridge with uh, our contractor's ladder and a couple pieces of plywood, and so we walk over this hole. Today, I'm taking up the carpeting. Mm -hmm. in this room because, you know, the carpeting uh, has been here for... The fire was 19 years ago. This house has been open and abandoned for 19 years. This carpeting's been here. Yeah. It's been harboring fleas and insects and, you know, yeah. cats. Cats mm -hmm. have used it as a place to pee. So, anyway, I got my, my carpet cutter. Yeah. I've already cut a piece of carpet, and I've got my, my contractor's bag all set up. Okay. And I'll show you what, the way I do this. You know, I, I cut a line here, and basically I'm just going to roll this up. What I do is I cut the carpet in strips, mm -hmm. and then I roll them up. Yes. Because that's how they fit in the bag. Okay. And I'll show you what I do is I, I roll it up in a spiral like this, I set it down in the bag, and then I unroll it. And what that does... Unspiral it. It unspirals, and... It gives me a structure, basically. Oh, this is a little floppy. I've got the bag turned down quite a bit, so I'm right. going to bring, I'm gonna bring some of this bag back up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So now I have, I'm using the carpeting as a kind of structure. Right. And then I'll just, I'll fill this with the rubber padding and right. other pieces of carpeting and then you know, mm -hmm. and I'll just keep doing this, and it'll fill up. Okay. Got, got my tools laid out here. Got my knee pads on, because basically what I'll do next is I'll I'll make a cut along the rubber padding. Mm -hmm. and that usually works pretty well. Yeah, you just be careful. You get close to the hole. Oh, I'm away. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I will be very careful close to the fire hole. If I fall through, I'll call you and okay. say, come and get me. I fell through the hole. <laughs> it's not, it's, call it's, an ambulance from next No, door it's not a... I'm not going to fall through the hole. Okay. okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll might as well go ahead and show you how this works. Okay. So I do, I do, basically, I do the same thing with the padding. Yes. And you get to see what's underneath, which is this... This lovely Warped gray linoleum. linoleum tile from the 1950s or the 1960s. And I believe there's more underneath. I believe there's green green sheet linoleum underneath this, but I'm not sure. From the 1940s, or maybe it's white sheet linoleum from yeah, the 40s. Yeah, you never know. Okay, oh, my, my structure didn't hold up. I'm gonna no, have to it give didn't. It, you I'm going to have to give it some help. Wide. Ah. Okay. So what I'm going to do... See, I'm just going to keep filling this until, yeah. Okay. You know, sometimes it works really well, and sometimes you have to wrestle with it like this. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why we need a person, another person. Well, I've, I've been able to do this, a lot of this myself. Yeah. While you're working at the library, I'm usually doing this in the daytime, so. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay. I'll, I'll call you when I get a little bit more done. Thank you, Eddie. Okay.